everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I just want to send a message to Pamela's dad, which is Pamela's Adoring Crochet. This is the <laughs> second time I've done this. And what did Pam give you, Jim, that you had she mentioned? She gave me a beautiful hat. And he wears it, except today he doesn't need it. It's no, pretty it's warm out. Warm if you notice, there. I have short sleeves on today. It was warmer. Even though it's, it would feel cold if it went from like 90 to temperature of the day. And um, she also gave me, I mentioned, and this, vid, this is the second time around on this video because I messed up big time on the first one. So, and I also mentioned that she gave me the little hen back there, the hen pillow, and that's Emma. And what I wanted to do is tell George, which is Pamela's dad, and I thank you, Pamela, for giving me his name. But I, uh, the kids call him Papa George because I mentioned they wanted to know where this pretty bottle came from. And I said it came from Papa George. And they go, Papa George, who's that? What and kids? I, <laughs> my grandkids, of course. <laughs> not, not my kids. My kids are a little too old. But the grandkids would ask, and they'd want to know where this pretty bottle came from because they like to look in my cabinet at my elephants, and that's where I've got it. I've got it with my special stuff. And I said, just don't touch it. And they, they wanted to know more about it. And I says, I will show it to you, but just don't touch it because it's special. Well, where did it come from? I said, it came from Papa George. And they go, well, who's Papa George? And I go, it's a friend of mine's on YouTube's dad and the friend is Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Thank you Pamela and George thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is this it is it's beautiful. I looked up online to see if I could find this company that it's under and I found the company but it doesn't give me a lot of information but I did see bottles that were like this and their medicine was in them, and some of them had poison in them. And this one had poison in it? Maybe. Maybe. I think it did, though. I don't know. This one might not have, because this one's too pretty to have poison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to just tell you thank you. And I did take Dorothy out of chicken jail, but she's still broody. She still wants to... She still wants to puff up and sit on the nest. So every time I open up the chicken, chicken um, nesting box and I find her there, I pick her up. And, you know, she's, she's just like picking up Mr. Brown. She likes to be held. She likes the attention. And I bring her and I put her into the ch open chicken run, the outside run. And I give her some chicken scratch in the cup and she eats it out of the cup and the other hens are trying to get it, but she's the one that I want. And so I just kind of use my hand to just guide them away. you got to go slow because if you step a little quick, they all go, Whoa! they all go crazy. And they do do that. Mm -hmm. And she would even do that too if they did it because it's like alarm. They're, they're all on high alert when somebody does something. Well, I hope you all had a great day. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. And thank you again, George, for this beautiful bottle. Thank you very much. And Pamela, thank you for asking your dad if I could have it. She, today she told a little bit more about it. Yeah. Well, that's it. I'll, <laughs> I'll say goodbye. Bye.